Notice how both of the inner and outer edge, actually on both of these lenses, are quite fuzzy. As a point of comparison, here's a star test from one of my telescopes, and you can see how the donut here is much more well-defined. So what does this fuzzy edge mean? Often it's caused by what's called a turned-down edge. When you have this main mirror at the back, it's formed into a curve. That's, of course, what gives you the magnification. But if the edge is not following that curve all the way to the edge, which is common when you begin to polish these mirrors, that they get turned down a little bit, so they get basically over polished, then you get the edges of your donut looking fuzzy. It could also be a bad coating on the mirrors themselves, but I think the most likely culprit here is the fact that both of these are actually suffering from a slight the turned down edge. If we take a look at the star test just from the Samyang here, you can also notice that it has this very strong blue fringing at the edge on one side of the donut. That's what's called chromatic aberration. This is likely caused by the lens element here in the front, the glass in the front of it, sometimes referred to as a corrector plate or a corrector lens, are supposed to correct for some of these optical imperfections in the telescope. So it seems like it's not really doing its job in the case of the Samyang. Another thing that's worth looking at is the overall shape of the donut. Notice here in the Samyang that it's not perfectly round, it's slightly asymmetrical. Again, there can be multiple causes for this. The most likely cause in this case is what's called pinched optics. We can actually investigate this a little further. If we try to pull a focus on the star test here, what we will see with the Samyang here is that the stars are not round. They actually look like two elongated blobs that are kind of smooshed together. So my guess is that something inside here is under some mechanical stress that's caused the main mirror to warp slightly out of place. If you compare it to the Tamron lens here, we can see the Tamron is not perfect. It still has a little bit of shape to it with some blobs going out there to the side, but it's a hell of a lot better.